Hey, what's up, guys? Before we get into the video, what I wanted to do is just tell you, man, come over to FunnelHackerPro.com. You can just go to FHP.io. All right, so um, right now we're talking about Doxify, another AppSumo like boomerang, right? So this is the second time that uh, Doxify has been around. And I want to point out something right off the top. Doxify has returned with some of the same promises that it came with last time, right? So last time that we saw Doxify, they talked about um, email, um, what is it, email... Um, uh, sequences and follow-ups or whatever and they still haven't done that right but that's just the negative parts that I wanted to bring out off the top now we're going to start talking about some of the positive things on how you can actually use um, Doxify now I'm going to be honest with you I don't send a lot of documents for tracking I've had this software for quite a while um, I'm actually an affiliate for the software but I haven't been selling it very much and I'm going to tell you why. It's because when I first uh, became aware of Doxify, um, and I don't think it was AppSumo. It was another um, deal somewhere else, like a Black Friday deal or something like that. Um, and then also uh, they went live in like the Siftery group or something like that, right? So uh, for a, like a $49 deal. But I already had like a lifetime deal to this because I'm an affiliate. But I haven't used it since then, right? So this is so when you send documents out, you can track to see how um, how many people are you know have looked at the document and how long they actually you know read the document. Um, the average time you can see here is twenty two uh, seconds or whatever, and they they looked at it about thirteen percent, right? They watched uh, this thing. Then it tells you how many clicks did they have, if there's any clicks in your email, and then it shows you a timeline of everybody that actually like looked at this um, document. So what I did in order to get this many clicks is a while ago, I posted this in a group so people could actually see how Doxify worked, and I used my custom domain for that, which is one of the things that's really cool, right? So what happens when you upload uh, a, a document at Doxify, right? It's going to automatically put these little things here to show you whether it's been opened or hasn't been opened, right? And you can then, uh, once you go inbox, you'll see if those emails have been opened, those little things will come up and you can click on those and get your um, uh, statistics, right? So when you come over here, you'll see down here um, that when you send out your email or when you upload a, um, a document, it's automatically going to upload that document to, um, and let's just do this. It's automatically going to upload that document. You see there how that uploads right to Doxify. Now, if you have their growth um, package, what you're going to be able to do is use, um, go into your settings here, and you're going to be able to set your branding, right? So mine is HTTPS docs.copybreak.io. And then you also get ConvertFox inside of there. So you can use... Uh, a chat feature so when somebody looks at your document like a proposal or something like that right this is kind of like a better proposals um workaround right so this will actually tell you how much of the proposal they actually read right so you see that this is already uploaded right and i, I want to find this link here to this other one that i did so we can see what it looks like Let's view it in Gmail. All right, so this is what it looks like. And when you click the link, you'll see it goes to my document here. Uh, and it's going to say that my view, since I'm the owner of the document, it's not going to show my views. But you see ConvertFox pop down here in the bottom. Like if they had any questions about the document, they could chat with you right then. And now the document is going to load. And you can see it's just uh, an ebook here. Um, so they can uh, scroll through the document and, you know, just use the document like anything else, uh, like any other PDF or whatever. Um, and that's how it works. So then you can see how many times they actually, you know, how deep they went into the document. This is just a, uh, a vegan cookbook or whatever, right? So. Uh, I just uploaded this just for a demonstration or whatever. But if you were actually rolling through this 
that Doxify would be tracking to see uh, how much you did, right? And so, like, I did like the custom domain with the SSL right here so they know that they're safe. And I also do like this chat. Now, I haven't had a time to, to use this and send this to people because I don't really use uh, proposals. Not saying that I won't, but this is a nice feature. What happens if you just want to send somebody, um, oh, this is really nice, coconut with curry milk, with <laughs> curry with canned tomatoes. I want to eat that. All right, so what happens if you just send um, customers a document like uh, maybe it's a PDF about a product or a service you have, right? So um, uh, Ariel, um, the guy that runs Flexi, has a friend that, um, actually a client that runs uh, the marketing for AMD. And he sends out a lot of documents and things like that. So he can track to see how much of the document they looked at right through um, uh, this uh, Doxify if he wanted to. Um, you're able to do that as well with Flexi, but not the in-depth that you go here. So when you get, um, and then you get to see your, your opens, how many people actually opened your email. Um, how many people actually clicked other links in your email and I thought this is cool so now you have these subjects that can be scheduled or whatever you also have snippets uh, shortcuts and templates and actions and whatnot and you do have teams so you can add in uh, more team members the people that are using it right so how many emails you had how many opens the documents the clicks and the downloads or whatnot and then in your settings here like i said you can change your branding they also have an api and they are connected with zapier which is all new so i want to talk about um how they've been developing this right so i've been involved with this since almost day one right so almost a year ago that i've been involved with doxify so i'm not brand new to it um and i've watched them build the application more and more the one thing that's that, that that bothers me is that they've been promising to bring when i first saw it i was like yo do you you can i send emails with this because obviously everybody was looking at the follow-up that came through follow-up cc um this is their crm here follow-up cc came with um uh, an email uh, so you could code email outside of your gmail and it was actually a really nice plug-in uh now, when, when they never did add the sending ability. So a lot of people are going to have this concern, and I did. Do I want to take on an extra expense, like a monthly expense? Because at that point, he wasn't offering a lifetime deal. He was just offering like a yearly deal for, you know, $50 a year or something like that. It was pretty inexpensive. But could I justify the extra expense to, to have this document tracking, yet something else to add on in my Gmail? And you can see how many add-ons you can end up having your Chrome extensions, right? Um, I've got a ton of these Chrome extensions for every application that I purchase. Can I justify the extra purchase for tracking, right? Um, and you can also BCC here. That's awesome. Um, can I justify that, okay, uh, by paying for an extra service for that? And I didn't like it. I'm like, I don't want to just pay for for attachment tracking i actually want to pay for sending email so if this actually sent sequences it would be okay but i'm changing my mind on that now that they have an api and they have uh zapier that can um create deals and uh because i use flexi and flexi uses um this that you can create deals you can have people come in inside of your uh uh, to track this or whatever and then still use the data inside of your crm so and it's a lifetime deal right so you can get it for 49 or 59 bucks or whatever you're going to pay for it and then use zapier or webhooks with your own stuff i don't like personally using gmail's interface right i don't like all of these little doodads boomerangs and stuff and actually using gmail for my um email sending right i like to have a separate space right so you guys all know i'm a big mail shake fan and uh this even over the top of flexi at the moment flexi's making some changes and then i'm probably going to be switching over to flexi because there are some um uh, advantages to using Flexi over Mailshake when it comes for your campaigns. But at the moment, today, right now, you guys know I'm not going to talk about anything else. I use Mailshake, right? 
and I like sending my emails from here. It's really open, uh, and if I had to reply, I'm using the entire thing here. There's no distractions with other emails or anything coming in, and um, I just like it, right? So if I had a reply here and I wanted to, to reply, I like the space. I have more space than what I have in the inbox, and, uh, and it's more concentrated as well, right? But I have more space here, and I like that. Um, I don't like the small spaces, especially when you end up having a lot of extensions here. But the thing I really don't like is the small compose box that they give you in Gmail, right? I just don't like it. I like having a much wider space to write my emails. Um, and here, they're going to be adding, uh, you can add templates in for template emails that you normally send out. And you can schedule those emails with a scheduler that you have inside of Gmail. But that starts to get complicated and uh, just too much, too many extensions, too, too many Chrome extensions for me. But here's what I do like it for. If you already have a CRM or if you already use something like Mailshake, I do like um, the API and the uh, Zapier integration. And they have a webhook, so you can add a webhook here for your emails opens, the files downloaded, links clicked and everything. You can add all of that stuff and they're really making sure that they integrate with a lot of other applications. Here's where AppSumo always falls short for us. They always give us some application that doesn't integrate with anybody. And I always say that Zapier should be integration 101. If you don't do anything else, integrate with Zapier. That way we can integrate with any app that we want to. But here's something, another level that I'm starting to uh, to like, right? Uh, for me is tracking, right? So if you have an application like Flexi or like Infusionsoft or uh, Active Campaign or even, even some other applications like ConvertFox, actually have a tracking pixel that you can put on your website and you can track everything that somebody does. So if they were to get this documentation from your website or if you were to send this from Infusionsoft or Active Campaign, you get that tracking ability because it's native. Doxify isn't going to be native. Now they're going to add in website tracking, which is cool, but now you have two different types of tracking. Now you have two different softwares that you have to go to. So if you don't already have Infusionsoft, Active Campaign, or Flexi, or something like that, right, to do your tracking for you, they are promising in the roadmap, again, you guys know I don't sell roadmaps, to bring on website tracking. They said that, that that's coming soon, right? So let's go to Doxify. Now, you guys know that... Uh, uh, I'm not even doing this for any money because uh, AppSumo, they, well, they banned me. <laughs> so I can't, I can't even go on the AppSumo site. Well, not with my other profile. Of course, I have another profile that I've used already to go on there if I want to, right? But I don't, I'm not going to buy this myself because I already have it. You guys already see I have a, a campaign already. But um, if you look down here as far as what they're going to be doing, um, they're going to be adding in... Um, uh, tracking or whatever. So you see right here, if on AppSumo, that if you buy the growth plan right here, so first one that you get the pro plan, I wouldn't go for that because if you want to have the branding on your domain and everything, this is the one you want. So you can totally have it white labeled and everything. Um, and you get the auto follow-ups and everything. And so here they're coming features um, coming up soon. Let's see, where is it down here below? Uh, maybe it's not here. Let me look at features then. So you see document tracking and then here website tracking is coming soon. Reminders and follow-ups and sequences, which has been coming soon for almost a year now. It's like, come on guys, get, get with it, right? But it's okay, but website tracking is something that's huge. So if you don't already have something to track on your websites and you wanna use Doxify, you can. Me personally, I think that's a bit out of the scope for this product um, because you know website tracking should be done by a CRM and not by this other product on the side. I think that's just a bunch of uh, uh, smoke and mirrors, you know, for you to try to like buy this product. What I would like to see with this product though, and I think everybody would, is sequences and the ability to send out uh, emails uh, and, and follow-up sequences. I wouldn't use it personally because I use Mailshake, but again, I'm gonna recap this really quickly. If you're already using something like Mailshake or if you're already using other softwares or whatever, you can use their webhook, you can use their API, and you can use Zapier, right? So if you just use this and you want to send the data somewhere and create a, you see a CRM 
uh, create a, a, a sales f a flare uh, opportunity and Doxify or whatever. Um, you can create tasks, whatever. If you want to do this with inside of um, uh, inside of uh, uh, Flexi, you can also do that because we also um, have tracking and we also have uh, Zapier integration with Flexi. So we, whichever CRM you're using, you can use Doxify. Um, the, what I'm going to be checking on to within the, five, in the next few minutes is to see if we can get it a, a a uh, native integration is there a way we can use their API um, and you see this uh, this API right here is there a way we can use that API in order to connect natively in Flexi and that would be really cool but anyways um, that's my review of um, Doxify my honest review now would if, if I were you you know I haven't found any reason to send this, and I'm not saying that I wouldn't find a reason to send it later on, which is why I, I got on board with the product, because maybe you will um, have uh, reasons to send documents that need to be tracked later on, right? Now, is this GDPR compliant? They have an answer on the front of their website, because now with the GDPR, you have to kind of let people know you're tracking them if you're in Europe. You have to let them know you're tracking them. You have to click little tick boxes and say, hey, we're tracking your shit. So those are things that they're going to have to address. And I believe they're going to tell you we're going to be compliant by that time or we're working on it or they are already GDPR compl compliant. Because I looked on the front of the website uh, and I believe I saw something that said GDPR compliance down here at the bottom. This is it. Did I? Yes. So GDPR compliance, and they do have it down here in the bottom. What is it? And will they be compliant? Right? How can they change or remove their personal data from Doxify? And what are they going to do about it? And so here's what we're going to do before it becomes binding, right? So this is they're showing you what's in progress and what's completed. So they still need to educate the users about it. That's in progress. And here, implement changes in the app to make sure our users can comply. Th that's a big one. <laughs> and they haven't done that yet. So make changes to the privacy policy in terms of service. Now, they all, they only have about another month to get everything done. Not saying they won't do it, but I'm just telling you that it's not GDPR compliant now and they're working on the rest, okay? So there you go about the GDPR because everybody's going to, is it GDP? Everybody's going to ask that question because this has been going down. So the, the basis of how Doxify works, we're going to recap this over, is basically you take a document into your Gmail. Uh, where are you going to send it to somebody? You upload it. It's going to automatically upload it to their server. And when somebody clicks on it, it's going to go to your own. If you buy the, um, otherwise they're going to have their own branding on here. But you can use, um, it's going to go to like uh, docs docsify.net or whatever. But if you use your own branding, it's going to go to your website. And it's going to have the HTTPS on there. And you can also add any JavaScript code. It doesn't have to be ConvertFox. So you can add in any uh, uh, tracking code in here as well. So let's just say that you did have them sign in with Flexi or something like that, right? And if they're inside of Flexi and they signed in and got that document, with a Flexi email and clicked it out of a Flexi email and landed here, Flexi would track them to this uh, website natively, right? But uh, you, so that means that you don't have to use ConvertFox. But ConvertFox will also do tracking and show when people hit your document as well, right? Um, and if they if they if they are inside of ConvertFox, you will know if you already know who they are. Um, if they're not an unknown, it will show that they came and they hit your document after you sent out the document as well. So those are some good things right here. So you can put any JavaScript code inside of here. And this is only you see here with the growth and ultimate plans. So if you want to have these features, I suggest you buy the second um, plan on AppSumo. And that way um, you'll be covered. All right, guys. So I don't want to make this a million year video. It's just a document tracking system. There's no like, woo, to this software. If you need to track documents and the way they explain it is, you know, you'll get more sales by um, attending to people who have w uh, read more of your document than people that just clicked on it, looked for a second and left. Coffee break. Ha, 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 ha.